Stop All right, where are we heading? We are headed to Salem, New York. Salem, New York. Not Salem, Massachusetts, or South Salem, New York, but regular Salem. Regular old Salem, New York, in Washington County. Yeah, Washington County. It's up north. North of Albany. Well oh, north of well Albany. Of <laughs> <laughs> A beautiful country, nonetheless. And we're going to go do the uh, burying grounds over there. Uh, Yep, the we're, old Revolutionary War cemetery. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna expand on things a little bit. Uh, we've been getting word that uh, some of our videos are a bit short, so we're gonna lengthen it up a bit, give you a bit more content, and uh, we'll also give you a small chunk of it as well because that's how we roll. But uh, I just want to let you know some of the other subscribers I have. Uh, there's Pumpkin Town Primitives. I think you should check that guy out. He's a stone carver down in uh, Carolina somewhere, and uh, he does it old school. He's a more of an 18th century kind of dude, and uh, does miniature paintings and carves uh, stones and folds letters like a 18th century guy and all that. And then you have uh, Stuck in Vermont, and she does more sort of generalized tour, tourist kind of stuff in Vermont. You know, the cemeteries, roadside. Uh, Swimming holes and uh, places to eat ice cream, apparently. But uh, check them out. We're on our way to uh, Salem, Salem, New York. Salem, New York. <clears throat> Griffin Sarah, and we're at the old Revolutionary Burying Grounds. In Salem, New York. Is that where we are? Yeah, we are. <laughs> All right, what are we going to see over here in uh, Salem? Oh, we are going to see some beautiful old stones. Okay. Um, some Zerubbabel Collins. Right, right. Um, you all know who he is. <laughs> we may see the stone of a local witch. Ooh. Not the Salem, Massachusetts, which let's nope. not get that mixed up. This is New Our York. Our own Salem, New York, in know. Washington County. We had a witch. One. Yes, indeed. At least one. At the, least one. That we know of. Well, <clears throat> my mother moved out of the county. Oh, you better not put that in there. <laughs> it's making it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mom. <laughs> and then you got a bunch of guys from the Revolution. You have two of Rogers Rangers uh, from uh, the, the French, French and Indian, Indian War. Yeah. And uh, let's see. There's a couple people, I think five from the War of 1812. 1812. And some uh, Civil War representation. Yeah, this is not. Uh, they closed about that time. Okay. This isn't a cemetery. They call it a burying ground. Burying ground. Burying ground. And uh, well, we're going to go check it out. Uh, we've uh, been there a couple of times before. It's uh, some stuff that's in the original Zerubbabel uh, video we made. And we're going to do a little bit more detail on it this time since we actually researched it. Uh, Alright guys, coming up in sale. There it is, historic sale. Historic yeah. sale. There it is. 1762. Yeah. Pretty old. Pretty old. Here somewhere, we'll be burying grounds. Looking for Archibald Street. Yes. Oh, we got the Dollar General. Yeah. One in every town. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> anyway, I will not get out my soapbox. There you go. Here's the fire department. All getting ready for the big Father's Day breakfast. Oh, that's right. And here we are, old burying ground. It's the next left. That's right. Coming in hot. <laughs> Prepare to be wowed. Right. And here comes the left. Oh. There it is. And there it is. Archibald Street. Make this and turn. This purple car. That's one purple car. Ah. And there and is there the is. burying ground. Revolutionary War. I have to walk in from here. 
All right, Sarah and I are looking looking for everybody before we really give you details on it. A lot of stuff going on here. Doing our research. Yeah, we're just doing it on the fly again. No, I got, she's, I did work. She's, Sarah did all the work. I just hold the camera. I just water the plants. To the but, directory. But you'll notice that we both have our summer hats on now, so... Uh, you can tell the weather's finally turned. There we go. That's better. But they do have a directory over here. Yep. Kept right in the old mailbox and That's chained it. up here so you can't take anything out of it. Yes. Because he wouldn't want you to take the whole thing and just like walk away with it. Yes. And know anything in the cemetery so they keep it all trapped in that binder where nobody can get these sheets out. Apparently. Apparently those two sheets made it up. <laughs> I'm not sure how. He is the first grave with a marker here. Could be there somewhere. Savage. Savage Vault. What did I want? Abraham Savage. Abraham Savage. Grid 3111, it says. 3111? What does that mean? No idea. <laughs> Jesus. Ariel Solomon Barr. Yeah. Um, who is not unmarked. Well, first you have the unknown Indian that came in, the wandering Indian who came in and died here. Right. And that's why they decided this would be sacred ground. Now we don't know if that's really true or not. That's, that's local a, legend, but okay. hey, you know. Right. So that's what got this why whole not? thing going. Figured the guy died here. Well, Good then, um, any, right? well, there's a whole lot of history why, you know, people came together and whatever. But, um, so first burial, Solomon Bar, 1767. Okay. It's pretty um, old. But the earliest gravestone is Abraham Savage. And he was 18 years old, and I'm trying to find him. And yeah. we decided he was where? Well, his consort is in section 31. 31. That doesn't mean he's there. I mean, well, how many consorts they said this guy has? 31 and 11. So 11 is right over here. Uh -huh. This is the gate. 11 should be right this way. <laughs> this way? That way. Yes. So we'll find Savage's. Go ahead. <clears throat> what we got? This is the earliest grave in the whole joint, and it is Abraham Savage, and it is 1769. All right. He died when he was 18 years old. A big shout out to Bat and Kilkenny, too. So. Yeah. We should have uh, brought a mirror so we can reflect it, but it's a little hard to see. This is the oldest stone, apparently. Oldest stone, and it's a Zerubbabel column. Yes, it's a Zerub, for sure. All right, this is in memory of James McNish, and he is the oldest resident, oldest descendant. As in age-wise. Age-wise. I had 104 in my research, but yeah. a stone says 101, so, you yeah. know, we'll, we'll take 101, yes. since it's set in stone. <laughs> set in stone. <laughs> and well, sometimes was, you don't know when these guys were actually born, and they didn't either, you know? Right. So he was the father of Lieutenant Alexander McNish, Esquire, who must have been important for something. Proper lawyer, okay. But. All right. Oldest guy in the place. Yeah, Revolutionary War veteran. Did all right. Okay, we're going to go over and talk about the mounds. We're going to talk about the witch last, so you got to stay tuned. If you want to hear about the witch, the proper New York Salem witch, not the, not the ones down in Massachusetts. We're going to leave that one till last. But this place has some pretty cool stuff otherwise. Right. What we got? Well, this is one of our uh, mounds. Oh, this wow. is the Harvey... Family vault, 1832, but it's um, dried, laid up slate. It's a mound formation, and it's thought to be a custom that was brought with the Irish and the Scottish um, people when they came and settled here in Salem. Also a revolutionary guy. Also a revolutionary war right, this. person. Oh, you can kind of see in it. Let's go take a quick look. Yeah, you can't see that well in there, but. 
it's starting to come apart a little bit. Looks like it's kind of empty, from my point of view. These little steps next to uh, Sarah are pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if they're for really walking on. Ooh. I don't know. I hope so, because I'm walking on. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's maybe so you can get out. Well, we always have trouble getting out of here unless the gate's open. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yeah. We're going to talk about some of the history of this cemetery. Okay. Since I did all the research, I want to talk about it. <laughs> Trying out loud. All right, so here we are at Salem. So Salem was first called White Creek, and then it was called New Perth. Okay. Okay, so there's some interesting stuff. Yeah, it was settled in 1764 by Scottish pioneers from Pelham, Mass. I thought it said it was 62. Well, in 1766, Dr. Thomas Clark came, and he was an Irish Presbyterian from oh, cool. Ireland. Watch out for those guys. <laughs> well, they, so they joined forces, the pioneers and the Presbyterians, and they established the burying grounds. Okay. And we did talk about the legend about the... Um, what is the legend? The legend is an uh, Indian came in and wandered in and came over right here and, and, and died. And so they thought, well, it must be sacred land, so they chose here to be the burying ground. Yeah, I wonder when that story really popped <laughs> up. <laughs> Who knows? There's also another interesting story about... Um, a hundred dead soldiers coming from the Battle of Saratoga mm -hmm. and coming over here and being buried in a mass unmarked grave. Okay. And interestingly enough, we've been over in the Saratoga area and there are no um, old cemeteries over there with Revolutionary War soldiers in there. There are, I think, 50 marked Revolutionary War soldiers in this cemetery, right. as well as a couple from uh, the War of 1812 and Two a couple Rangers. of Rogers Rangers, yeah. interestingly enough, so from French the Indian. French and Indian War. Okay. So it's a pretty neat place. There's some mounds. There's um, around the place. There's some beautiful Zerubbabel columns with different inscriptions on the top. We've seen a, a few, I think, three different Memento Mori. Yeah. Oh, Relentless Death. And what was that new one that I, I uh, couldn't say? Something Omnibus. Uh, I think it's Remember Death or something, uh, something like that, or we're all going to. You, you two will die, yeah. something like that. <laughs> we also have um, a story of a local witch. Oh, yes, we're going to talk about the witch. Which will be fun. That's a fun story. And, um, yeah, we have some a woman who baked bread for the militia. Oh, yeah, we're going to go visit hers as well. And I think that's it. All right, well, let's get to it. All right. These are some more examples of the mound. Yeah. There's a mound I don't, want, I don't want you to get me. <laughs> All right. All right, so uh, there's a mound way over at the back that doesn't have any kind of marking. Maybe that's where they put the soldiers. Maybe. It's big enough. Get a hundred guys in there. <laughs> and yeah. right here, look, here's Mr. Gillis. Mr. Gillis. Now, he was the last burial here in 1922, and he had to get a special permit to be buried here. Yeah, he totally doesn't fit in. Yeah, but isn't that awesome? Yeah. There he is. There he is. wonder why he did that. Strong connection, I suppose. <laughs> you see him? Kitty, yeah. The cemetery kitty over there. Yeah. You don't see him. Oh, there he is. Gone. Okay. All right, guys, when you're uh, here at the Salem uh, burying grounds, if you want to look for these little yellow markers, see it behind there? The flags generally uh, represent um, the uh, what war they were in, mostly in here. Well, revolution. These are Revolutionary War flags, but. Yep. Um, they're out for any uh, veteran. Wow, so. this, this is the last guy again didn't come in until <laughs> after <laughs> World War I. So. But uh, the yellow marker is somebody that's uh, usually a little bit more important. And uh, there's a couple of them around. So. In the directory. Directory is where you find it. This is Dana, the late consort of Joshua Conkey Esquire, one of the first settlers of this town, and she supported the um, character and the careful, she was a careful and affectionate wife and a tender parent. Okay. And a good woman. And she have like 16 kids or something? She crazy? had some un crazy yeah. amount of children, five of which I believe lived to adulthood. Right. Um, she died young yeah. and um, Joshua figure. did remarry. But what she is known for is actually baking bread for the militia and. Um, where Joshua was the the quartermaster. 
Looks like that his stone's a replacement stone, like the standard military stones they have now. Yeah. Well, he chose to be buried next to his first wife. All right. That tells you something. All right. All right. Here's another one with a marker. So this is um, Hamilton McAllister, and he was a major in the Charlotte County Militia under John Williams. Yeah. There you go. Eight million children. Now you notice most of these stones are uh, facing the west, so it's hard to read this time of day. Best time to come read these things is at the end of the day. Oh, we could have used Pumpkin Town's trick and uh, brought a mirror with us. We didn't think about that until we got in the car. Mm -hmm. In the gated area. I know what that's all about. All right, we're inside the gated area. Looks like it's all occupied, though. But some of the stones might have fallen over. That's something that happens, and then the turf builds over it. So I suspect that there's more people in here than the stones. Tell. John Law, yeah. widow of John Law. Okay. Put this on an old slate. Interesting. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we have this red slate uh, here, and it's yeah, done in diagonal. Right. It must have been the style or something. I don't know what's going on here. It's a widow. Okay. Here we got another mound. Yeah. And uh, it's like the back of the cemetery. I don't know if it's really the back or the front. You never know with these things, you know? Yeah, since they're all facing this way. Interesting. But. Well, some are, some aren't. This is the Martin family. There it is. They're in there somewhere. Okay. Well, this looks like a crossover. This is a James Collins, we believe, because it's got part, we're going to say Greek Revival, and we got the old uh, drop winged uh, uh, soul the, effigy. The Greek Revival. Yeah, that's, uh, and the stone shape is Greek Revival. Mm -hmm. So, in the year on it, the Robable Collins would have been long dead. But it's crossover, I think. And there's what, 36 Zerubbabel Collins stones in this cemetery yeah, 36. alone? 36. Which is pretty good. Because here's another plain, plain straight up James, I guess That's you a, call it. There's your straight up James. No Greek revival in the back or what might be the front of the cemetery. Go ahead. You ready? Yep. All right. So this is Margaret Telford, and she was accused by her neighbor of. Um, Casting a spell on his cows. <laughs> okay, so Archie Livingston, her neighbor. Yeah. Um, the cows' milk couldn't. Um, they couldn't get any cream out of it, and they couldn't make mm, the butter. Two percent. So, <laughs> probably whole milk. I hear that's better for you now um, than they used to say. Whatever. Another another soapbox for another day. So anyway, um, the uh, the church stood behind Margaret and. Uh, they decided that her trial should be there, um, that they would take care of it. And they interviewed many people and thought, you know, that said that she was an upstanding citizen. Well, there's this one guy, Dibble. Oh, Dibble. Carpetbagger. Right. Um, charlatan, shall you say. Yes. Um, the neighbor went to him to have his fortune told as to say, why is this happening to my cows? And Dibble pointed the finger at Margaret Telford and said, it was a short, stocky, dark-haired woman who was doing this, and that described his neighbor to a team. So, unfortunately, the Telford family was kind of ostracized for their whole life here, as were their children. And interestingly enough, I, I know a few, few, fair few Telfords that still live in the area. So I wonder <laughs> if they're still feeling the repercussions of a witch trial of 1777. I don't know, but there's some graffiti on this thing. Well, the, the interesting right thing was, is that um, her trial was interrupted, and so she was never found innocent or guilty until many years later when she was absolved of the, um, the alleged witchery. Well, that was what, the French Indian War that happened? No, it was the Revolutionary War. It oh. was uh, General uh, Burgoyne yeah. coming through here that stopped the trial. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, what did we forget? Um, this was put on the National Register, the cemetery, well, burying ground, not a cemetery, in 2005, in May of 2005, uh, by the U.S. Department of the Interior. Yeah, well, do you know what the difference is between a burying ground and a cemetery? No, I don't. Well, a burying ground is just what we saw, lots of graves all in a row. Right. 
um, been ordered. Whereas a cemetery is more of a garden situation. They wanted people to come and walk through and picnic and promenade and be with their ancestors and come to their graves. So they wanted to make it more of a park-like experience. Right. It also is the difference between the um, Presbyterians and the sole effigies right. and then the, the new cemeteries were more um, angels and statuary. Oh, the Catholics are still, well, that's true, the rural burying ground, or rural cemeteries have that as well. But uh, the ones we got now are called memorial cemeteries, where they're all flat, they're easy to mow around. People don't seem to visit those, so. No, I don't think people visit cemeteries like they used to anyway. Probably you know, not. just for Memorial Day to plant the, you know, ceremonial ger geranium, as in yeah. my family's case. Exactly. <laughs> but. Uh, I was the geranium guy for a while at that greenhouse, so that's exactly what they were for. But uh, I want to, uh, I'm going to put uh, Pumpkin Town Primitives in the description along with, uh, what was it? Stuck, Stuck in, in Vermont. Vermont. Stuck in Vermont. Put those in the description. And we're getting close. We're getting close to our thousand. Making a push here, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. Tell all your friends. Oh. If you like what you see, subscribe and uh, it'll pop up on your board. All right. Remember guys, like and subscribe. Take a few snaps. <laughs>